I'm going to read a poem that Scott Maness wrote. Okay. The Ice Storm of 98. The local stations shouted it. It's coming, they all said. The ice storm of the century will rear its ugly head. Widespread power outages, the storm it will leave behind. Uncertainty of what would come weighed heavy on my mind. I slid into my cozy bed. The storm had just begun. How different would my, my world be when this storm was done? I woke up bright and early on that January morning. Unprepared for what I found, I failed to heed the warning. That the house was colder than it was the night before was shockingly apparent when my feet would touch the floor. It shouldn't be this cold, I thought. Something wasn't right. The power had gone out some time while I slept that night. I hastily put on my clothes. Next, I dressed my feet. I nearly died when I sat on that frozen toilet seat. <laughs> I stepped outside to witness what the storm had left behind. The sights I saw and sounds I heard are etched upon my mind. The air was brisk, as I recall, so cold inside my lung. The chimney smoke was heavy. To the ground it hung. The trees were doubled over. Thick ice was so crystal clear. The branches hung above the ground like giant chandeliers. I stood a moment listening. The silence was profound, broken only by the branches as they shattered on the ground. My family that abandoned ship to Grandma's house, they'd flee. I said, I'll stay and hold the fort. Just leave it all to me. I gathered all the blankets and spread them on the bed. Surely I'd be toasty warm, said the voice inside my head. I gathered up the items I need to, I need to brave the night to occupy the hours I read by candlelight. The quiet was unnerving. It was messing with my head. To expedite the pass of night, I retired to my bed. I slipped beneath the blankets. I had gathered quite a pile. They were cold like sheets of ice. I shivered for a while. Eventually, I nodded off. I think I slept quite well, but since I was sleeping, it's difficult to tell. I don't know what time it was when I finally came to. I do recall that I was cold. My lips were probably blue. I felt a chill upon my face, and I could see my breath. Thinking back, I'm lucky not to have frozen half to death. I realized the time had come to give up and retreat. I made a conscious effort to avoid that toilet seat. I ventured out and drove about, assessed the situation. I was in awe the more I saw the icy devastation. Power poles were snapped in half with lines of tangled mess. I knew the power restoration would be a long process. For 10 more days we floundered in that frozen wonderland. How much more of this chaos could anyone withstand? Finally, I got a call. The power had been repaired. I hurried back to the homestead to see how it had fared. Although we had escaped with nothing but a frozen drain, the ice storm of the century surely was a pain. That's it. Now, the preacher. <laughs> A really short one by the Incredible String Band. And I'm only playing part of the song because that's what I feel like doing. <laughs> Yeah. 
not going to do one with the capo because it drives me nuts. I gotta get used to it first, so I'll just do one that I've done before. <clears throat> Thank you. 